Hello, everybody. My name is Rick McCutcheon. I'm a Microsoft Business Applications MVP. And today on Partner Talks, I have Tad Remington. Tad, introduce yourself. Tell the people who you are and what you do. Yeah, thanks, Rick, for having me on your show. Uh, I'm the Chief Commercial Officer for uh, Solver. I uh, have been uh, a longtime uh, fan of Solver uh, all the way back into the late 90s when they first got their foray into the Dynamics community as an FPNA uh, software solution and uh, joined them in 2017 uh, as they launched their uh, cloud version of their FPNA product. Okay, so tell me a little bit about, I'm a CRM guy, tell me a little bit about FPNA software. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So financial planning and analysis software. So it primarily serves the office of the fi of, of finance traditionally, uh, typically dealing with the financial statement reporting, uh, consolidations of multiple you know companies, dealing with planning, forecasting, uh, and also the analysis of all that information. Uh, you know, it's really a tool primarily for the senior management and the executives of, of an organization to really help them accelerate better decisions uh, into the future. Okay, perfect. Now, today we want to talk about community, and I know Solver's always been a big supporter of community, and we've got the Dynamics Con virtual event happening uh, this November, just in a couple of weeks. Let's talk a little bit about uh, that conference and why Solver sponsors it, and then let's talk a little bit about your session. Yeah, we're, we're excited uh, because these conferences are where we get the opportunity to have feet on the streets. Um, our partner community, given that we're a partner first organization, uh, is very, very important to us and obviously the customers that they serve. So this gives us an opportunity to meet with customers, meet with our partners, give, you know, allow them to ask questions of us and to, for us to receive feedback and to help them as well. So. We're really excited. Um, we do have a booth there that we're sponsoring. We do have a session. And our session's really going to focus on how to accelerate better decisions, not just in the Office of Finance, which is traditionally what an FP&A solution is, but because Solver can, Solver can extend that to the other departments within an organization by bringing that information in from other subsystems. It could be a payroll system. It could be CRM. It could be a point of sale. It could be an external benchmark system to bring all that information in, all those silos of information into a single place where you have a single source of the truth so that your senior managers are all working from the same data when they plan and they report and analyze um, is, is a very powerful thing. And that's really what's made us a success today is having that full suite of a solution for companies, especially in this new cloud world, where they're having to deal with many different systems to solve their problems. We bring it all together for them. Okay, and you know this virtual event uh, from DynamicsCon, I, I really like it because we have the live event, we're there, trade show booth, but this is the same sort of thing, right? So now we run it, a virtual event, um, virtual trade show booth. And I, I think most companies, you know, most people don't travel to conferences, right? There's a, a minority of our customers and our partners go. So I think with DynamicsCon, having a virtual um, version of this, it really helps get you know to the full audience and get our information out uh, right across the ecosystem. Yeah, yes, and, and we love the exposure that can help us provide because in this new world where so many of us are working virtually, even though we may have a headquarters somewhere, uh, no one's really ever in the office. And so... This really allows us to extend our reach um, to the entire community without having to think about getting on a plane and going somewhere. So, uh, absolutely, the you know the the reach that this event provides us is really great. So, Tad, let's talk a little bit about the session you're doing uh, at the conference. Yeah. So the session is really going to be talking about not just the financial planning and analysis capabilities that uh, we have to help the Office of Finance, but also talk about bringing in that additional information into that one place. And so that will be really the focus that we have is showing how our data warehouse on, that sits below our FP&A product allows you to extend that across the organization so that you don't have to be dealing with a lot of spreadsheets to deal with 
maybe driver-based forecasting where data may be coming from the CRM or from the point of sales system, or if you're a construction company, have job cost information and you need to forecast the remaining amount of work that's left on a job, those types of things, we can bring all that into a single place now. And we really want to highlight that to show people that you don't have to continue living in just spreadsheets and passing them around and trying to consolidate that information manually. We can't automate that for you. And I think, you know, your organization's in the right place at the right time where we see, you know, everybody trying to move their applications to the cloud, trying to get us into one um, set of data, you know, their CRM, their ERP, their supply chain. And I think, you know, with AI and what's going on with AI, I think Solver is going to be a, a real leader in this area. Yeah, yes. And we're excited about that too. And we're being very thoughtful, not only from the privacy perspective, but also how can we put this together so that the target audience, the senior management will trust the data, will trust how we're coming about it. So Solver Copilot, which is coming out, we have the first version that's uh, on immediate release to deal with how to use Solver and help people get through it. But that same technology will be used also to help analyze the information, to help you budget, to help you forecast, to help you set up the software. Like if you need to you know, develop a new report or a, or a chart, those are things that we're very excited about adding to the product over the years to come. But we're taking a very calculated um, approach to this to make sure it has the transparency and has the capabilities that are to allow people to say, yes, I know how this is how the decisions are being made. And I trust that this can be a tool to assist me, not do it for me, but assist me in making my decisions. So that's why we're, we, you know, we're excited about how we've kind of branded our organization, you know, being around Accelerate better decisions, because that is what we're about for organizations. That's what we're about for our partners. And that's what we're about as an organization as a whole. So calling it Solver Copilot, it's right into the Microsoft strategy. So I think it's a, a great move yeah. by your organization. So Tad, yeah. thanks for your time today. I'm sure we'll be back to you in the near future to talk more about our community, um, the way you work with partners and uh, everything that Solver's got going. Great. Thank you, Rick. Have a great day. Bye for now.